Alrighty, uh, gatekeeper here. What we have here is a custom, custom little two transistor amplifier. It's uh, it is built in a polymer case. What happened here was uh, this is kind of like a recycled build kind of. Uh, this was switched around, so you could uh, start off with a fresh new slate there. And uh, it appears that that was left as it is. Yep. And um, it was a Palomar two transistor amp, like I said. And as you can see, done a little bit of a little bit of this and that. Got the output tune here. Got the input tune there. They actually tuned out pretty equally. Um, went ahead and went with two MRF 454 transistors there you go those are uh, new old stock new old stock those little dots there are uh, to uh, to show that they were a matching set As you can see there 206 206 pretty hard to find these transistors right here especially new they're all they're all going to be new old stocks in OS's but um I did not do this build uh, my mentor actually done this build I think he had a broken Palomar laying around and thought you know might as well recycle it and make an amp out of it so it could be useful I did do a little work on it I uh there was uh, some very weak weak 2879s in it. The box would only do about 100 watts at the most. Uh HFE percentage of those 2879s was really low. I'm talking about like 30 40%. So uh we put these uh these uh, new MRF454s in here. And um Tune the input and the output with their two feedback circuits on there, which is right here. These little feedback circuits here, and uh, threw a choke on the input transformer, and that was about it. Yep, that's about it. Um, well, we change these, uh, change these out as well. These uh, one put one twenties right there. They work better than what was on there. So, all right, let's see what she's going to do. I'm not seeing no uh, big, big watts. Uh, two 454s is considered more of a high drive amp. I'm, I'm not going to be driving this amp, though. Um, I guess you can kind of just use your uh, imagination. Uh, if you drive it a little harder, of course, you're going to get more watts out of it. Um, but being two MRF 454s, they can take a little drive. So... You can drive this, uh, be a good little amp for an export. Uh, hitting with 40, 50 watts, no problem, no problem. Should give you about 350 watts, no problem at all. I'm, uh, probably even peaking up around 400 watts. We're not going to see that now because uh, I don't even have my driver hooked up right now. I could hook it up, but uh, I'm kind of limited on time right now. Maybe I should have hooked it up, but. You can use your imagination. We're just going to hit it with a radio. Alright, let's turn this off. Like always, let's let you know what we're working with. We're going to be driving about 18 to 20 watts into it. Uh, Alright. And we're swinging about 20, 22 watts into it. We'll just say 20 to be safe. Let's turn her on. If y'all see any smoke, that's a cigarette there, y'all. I'm a smoking freight train. <laughs> um 13 volts 
that's fine. We're on 13 volts. Try to get it about 13.8 like I usually had. There we go. 13.8 volt. We got it on the low side. We got her on low. The neat thing about this box, the higher you run it, the less reflect you got. I'll show you what I'm talking about. Let's put it on medium. About one thirty seven, one forty on medium. Let's put her on high. Alright, let's show you the uh, reflect on the high. Look at that. Oh, yeah, it's hard to get some of these amps this low. I mean, that is absolutely no reflect. Oh, I can't even see it moving. Yeah. That's beautiful. It is very, 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 very hard to get an amp down to apps, you know, virtually no reflect like that. Some of them will do it, some of them won't. But a uh, hundred milliwatts and zero milliwatts is not that big of a deal. <laughs> but I, I'm sorry, I just uh, can't get over that. Just some amps are like that. Some of them you can get down to virtually no reflect like that. You just get lucky. Because uh, some of them, you know, like this one right here, I put a trimmer on the input, trimmer on the output, and I trimmed them in. And then I mic'd them in. And uh, believe it or not, once I mic'd them in, I got lucky and got to reflect down even lower. It looks like uh, what happened there is, you know, I wasn't able to get the capacitance exactly the right. You know, the exact same is on the... Um, <clears throat> trimmers there you know if it equaled 133 you know i put like try to put like a 130 so it looked like just you know having off just it actually tuned it better <laughs> so, so that's a good thing right there all right let's uh go ahead and put this puppy on 15 volts and see what she's gonna do on 15 volts so i think this amp wants some drive and uh actually to tell you the truth that's four wraps on that input. That's four wraps on that output. This amp does want some. This amp's gonna have to have some drive to get up to where it can be. We're having a four uh, four wraps on the in, four wraps on the out. Um, any of you techs out there, builders do know, of course, you know, less wraps, less drive. Um, for you know, for me to have done that, I'd have to take this board out and all that. I just left the wraps as they were. So um, I don't know. Maybe I'll hook this old driver up and do another video. But but uh, so it it will need some drive to get up to where it can be. You know, 300, 400 watts or whatever. But uh, 15 volts. Let's see what she's gonna do. Oh, You see, just from increasing it from 13.8 to 15.2, 
what is that one volt pretty much it's almost that's, that is one volt 13 8 to 15 2 that's one volt increasing it from one volt gave us what 20 35 more watts so if we increased our drive to 40 watts it, it, it'd probably be over about 350 plus possibly 400 oh i ain't got enough video to do this but i would hurry up and hook this driver up but uh Let's just let y'all take my word for it. I don't know if I got enough time to hook hook all that up right now or not. I don't feel like doing a whole nother video or not, but uh Ah, what the heck. Hold on a second. <laughs> Better yet, that, that's gonna take a good bit to do. Well, if any of y'all know anything about amps. We're getting about what a 180, 190 on 15 volts to 20 watts of drive. I kind of would rather drive this amp. It is, it is kind of set up to be a high drive with four wraps on the input, four wraps on the output. I would like to show y'all that it is a it did it will do more watts. I mean these pretty much are the 2879s of the past. You know, they're 80 watt transistors and um, 2879s are 100 watt transistors. So, I mean, come on, you're only looking at 20 watts less. You know, you get two 2879s doing 450. You can pretty much safely say this would do at the minimum 350, no problem. But uh, it's just the way it's set up in this particular box. It needs some drive. If I threw, um, you know, like two wraps on the input, one on, uh, two, uh, yeah, two wraps on the input, possibly one wrap on the output, or, or some configuration of like that, we would probably be getting about 350 right now out of it. So it's just all about how the amp is set up. So this is set up to be a little high drive. So basically, this will make a good amp for an export radio. If any of y'all got an export radio, this is a good amp for it. Um, prime example, I ran this amp for about two or three hours the other night. I could barely even get this thing warm. Literally, I could barely get it warm. So you know it ain't even hardly working hard so well there you go sorry about the uh mumbling here it's uh it's late it's late and that's the last video i'm doing fellas i'm hitting the sack y'all have a good one mr gatekeeper out here in northeast georgia and this little thing uh by the way somebody was saying clean up this place this is not my bit this is a temporary setup right here all this nasty stuff all the way over. This is all a temporary setup. We are uh, working on my on my main office slash bench slash radio room slash manhole uh, right now. So this is just just a temporary setup, y'all. So before you go uh, jogging on me about how nasty and all this this looks, it's all temporary. This is all temporary. All temporary. We're just doing what we can do to get by, fellas. God bless. Gatekeepers clear.